Hi, Serenity. Hi, Mom. Uh, I thought I'd ask you about some cycles today. What kind of cycles do you think I might be asking you about? Weather cycles, water cycles, laundry cycles. Mm, yeah, those are all pretty common cycles, huh? <laughs> yeah, so, so with water cycles, it keeps, you know, it goes down and comes up and goes down and comes up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's all the processes in there, right? Um, but what about cycles in life? Do we have cycles in life that happen? Are we talking about laundry or? Life. Like not everyday life with laundry, but <laughs> like, you know, just. <laughs> what, do we have times for everything, right? What does Ecclesiastes say about times? That there's a time for? Everything. And name some things that there's a time for. There's a time for talking. Talking louder, maybe? <laughs> yeah, speak up a little bit because they might, you know, not be able to hear you. Um, so there's a time for talking loudly. There's a time There's a for, time for sleeping. There's a time for sleeping. There's a time for good times. There's True. a time for sad times. And bad times. And mad times. All those times. There's a time for all those things. Um, and so... What time of year is coming up? Winter. Yes. Christmas. Christmas. Before Thanksgiving. The, Thanksgiving. We can't forget Thanksgiving. Um, so with those times, what did what what did we learn in the in the book of Ecclesiastes? We learned that there's a time for everything, and what's the most important thing to do? Love the Lord with all your heart. Soul, speak up. And strength. And speak it up louder so they can hear. Love the Lord with all your heart and soul. Look over there and say it. Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, what? what's the next one? That's actually not what we learned in Ecclesiastes. But that's the, the end of Ecclesiastes. After all the cycles, after all the thought, after all the study, what was it? It was fear God and keep his commands. Because this is all that we can really do. And then what did Jesus command us? He commanded us to say it again. Love the Lord with all Loud your heart. Love the, love the Lord with all your heart. Soul. Soul and mind. Yes. And then love your... Neighbor as yourself. Uh-huh. Okay. So how can we do that? How, how did we show love? Yeah, that's one of the ways. Um, we also, there's a lot of different ways to love, right? What's the best love? What's the best form of love? Giving them something that they don't deserve. What is that? What is that called? I think it's either grace or mercy. It's grace. Good job. So... We can give, but you know, what? what is that kind of love? That comes from a deeper kind of love called agape love. Do you remember what that kind of love is? Agape? Is that some kind of foreign language? Yeah. It is? Yeah. That was just a random guess. It's uh, Latin or Greek? Probably Greek. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know. I just said. What, what does it mean? <laughs> it's one of the different kinds of love. There's lo there's lots of different kinds of love. We know that, right? There's yeah. I love ice cream. There's <laughs> I love my brother. I love my friend. And there's I'm in love with you. And there's I'm going to love you with a selfless love that has to be empowered by a choice. But really it comes straight from the original place love comes from, which is? God. Because God is what? Love. And so what does God's love do? He first loved us by doing what? <laughs> Dying on the cross. To do what? To create us. To create us? <laughs> yeah. You were, you, he died on the cross to create you? No. 
to... What did he die on the cross to do? To save us. From what? Death. When... Sin. Why? Why? Satan. Because he loves us. So he loved us first? Yes. And he is love. <laughs> so how do we love... How do we love others with the best love? What is it going to take inside of us to love others well? Oh, well, you know, hugs are always good, right? <laughs> but it'll have to be more than a hug. What will it be? What powers us? What gives us um, strength? God. Okay. But more specifically, where do we get the power from to have the fruits of the Spirit? Because I know the fruits of the Spirit are... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Okay. And so where does that come from? Where do the fruits of the Spirit come from? The Holy Spirit. <laughs> and how do we have the fruits in the spirit of the spirit here look over there how do we how do we have the fruit of the spirit in us we pray and we read the bible mm -hmm. and then because we're fearing god and keeping his commands and we're loving god with all our heart soul mind and strength and Loving, loving others, our others as ourselves. That will be showing us that we have those fruits of the Spirit working in us, right? So if we are loving God first, loving others, we're reading our Bible, we're praying, and we're doing what the Bible says also, God's going to give us the power by the, by the Holy Spirit by the power of ourself saying, I'm going to do this. <laughs> do, you, do you think we can like just be like, we can do this all by ourselves? No. Why? Why can't we just do it ourselves? I mean, you're a pretty good person, right? I mean, you know, you get a little irritated once in a while, but generally you're a pretty good person. So, um, why can't you do it? Why can't you do all the fruits of the Spirit yourself? Every day, all the time. Uh, why do you need God? Because without God, I would probably... Not ever be a thing or were be a thing or n and yeah. um hey. there's a scripture that says apart from God we can do a little bit is that what it says a little bit without mom we can do a little bit of dishes. Well, in John fifteen five, it says, "Apart from God, I can do something." It says, "I can do nothing apart from God." So I think that means if we're going to do anything that has value, we need God. So I think that that shows that we're going to have to depend on Him. Right? What is dependence? I depend on you to do that laundry, ma'am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but you actually you're supposed to do laundry. <laughs> well, <laughs> not all of it, but some of it. Um, yeah. So, so we're counting on something. We're relying on something to be done. You count on me feeding you every day or someone mm, feeding you, right? Uh, but some sort of food is going to be given to you, right? Nah, not often. 
Not often. <laughs> not like lunch, dinner, breakfast. I didn't shop for it. You don't often make me breakfast. Well, because I offer and you say no thank you, right? And then you eat what? Potatoes and eggs that Brandon made. I said if you want to wake up early with me and Daddy, I will make you I wake the up same earlier breakfast. than you wake up. Okay, so let's go back to what I was actually saying. <laughs> you depend on me to have food in the house, generally, right? Is that the main point? Usually. <laughs> Usually. So is that the main point? Yeah. Okay. So you're depending on me to feed you. Right? Yeah. Generally. Yeah, you're, you're counting on mom and dad to buy you food, right? And to provide for you, yes. generally. Okay, so, so generally, you're depending on us. And you know generally, we depend on God. And we have to depend on God, right? And that's part of uh, trust. Trusting God. Because you, we trust him to help us, and you trust us to help you, right? Yep. So there's a pattern there that all wraps up into going back to the beginning. There are cycles and there's good times and there's bad times and there's hard times and there's sad times and all of those things. But in all of those times, we know that God is a good provider and we know that God um, just wants us to depend on him and trust him. Right? And then when we do that, we don't have to worry, right? And then if we're not worrying, what do we usually do? Mourn. No, if we're not worrying, oh. what do you do if you're not worried about something? Say you're not you know really negative about going to work and then you don't worry i'm off the i'm on the way to work and i'm proud of it because i am not worrying so you're saying you feel confident and joyful yes positive positive okay so if you don't worry, you're going to automatically be happy <laughs> or joyful. <laughs> joyful, yeah. Because you may not be happy that you have to go to work, but you can, instead of being worried or sad because you're worried, you can be joyful. Okay. So that's kind of a cool thing. So if we trust God and seek him first and love him first and love others, we can relax and not worry and be joyful. That sounds really like good to me. I like how you said that. And yeah. be joyful. Mm-hmm. 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 How, <laughs> how come my hair is all crazy and yours is all back? Because I put my hair up. Mm. Or like down. Yeah. What do you think about us decorating early for Christmas? love it. You do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I like it too. Okay. Okay. Okay.